Hello everyone, Paul with High Tech Legion, and we'll be taking a look at ROG Connect for the new ASUS Crosshair Formula 5 motherboard, which is made for the 990FX chipset and will be part of the Scorpius platform for the new upcoming AMD processors and motherboards. Basically this is a tethered situation. I have my laptop here, I have my desktop monitor in the back, and what ROG Connect does, it allows you to tweak your system without physically having to be in front of the system or in the BIOS. So I have everything set up, it is tethered to the back, I have the software installed on both my desktop and my laptop. I will go ahead and click on the RC Tweak It button which is on my desktop on my laptop and it brings up the RC Tweak It controls. Basically with ROG Connect you could change your CPU bus speed, PCIe, CPU, Northbridge, CPU VDDA, DRAM. This is all on the fly all while you're doing it. There's no need to go into the BIOS and reset so basically make your changes go ahead and test your changes that are on your desktop and see if you have the correct frequencies whether you're overclocking or doing something else. In this you can save different profiles if you click on the profile button. As you can see it saves up to five profiles. It'll tell you what the profiles are, what your, what your voltages and megahertz are and your clock speeds. Give it a name, click save, and you're there. Next we have a display setting and that basically gives you everything that you could put on this display. Right now I have of course the CPU bus speed, PCIe voltage, uh, CPU voltage, HT voltage, etc. Now you could also look at your voltages via the voltage tab. You could look at your temperatures via the temperatures tab fan speed via the fan speed tab and of course your frequencies. You also have a My Favorite which basically you save this as a My Favorite setting and you can just go ahead and change it to My Favorite settings. Under the Function button you'll see RC Poster, RC Remote, RC Diagram and GPU Tweak It. At this time GPU Tweak It is not working uh, I have new NVIDIA drivers in this system, which is another good thing about this motherboard itself. It has the NF200 chipset, so you can actually use your NVIDIA video cards in SLI or a tri-SLI configuration. So let's go ahead and look at RC Diagram. RC Diagram basically monitors your, uh, your temperatures, etc. You use up to three. You have multiple uh, you have multiple options, but you can only use to view three. As you can see, you have your current, your voltage, temperature, fan speed, and frequencies. Out of all of those, you could pick three to monitor at one time. So if we go ahead and click Go, it will go ahead and start monitoring, of course, the temperature, the voltage of the CPU, and the current of the CPU. Click stop and it stops that. You could also load safe settings just to see and make comparisons. RC Remote. RC Remote basically shuts down, resets, restarts your computer, and you could also reset your CMOS from that. RC Poster, basically what that does is it will tell you as your computer is booting up, we'll go ahead and go to RC Remote and we will shut down the computer. If you can see the monitor in the back, you'll notice that the monitor has gone off. The computer is shutting down. All right, now.
now that the system's shut down, we'll go ahead and start it up, and then we could go ahead and look at, at the poster mode, and uh, we'll go ahead and change it to code. And we'll go ahead and restart the computer. As you can see, it's post it's it's going through its postcode right now on the bottom right hand side. And we now have the boot screen, ROG boot screen. And we have a successful boot. Our timings went back to where they need to be. Windows in the background is starting up. And now we have our screen. Another thing I'd like to take a look at is the ROG Game Connect. This is basically a bandwidth monitor and it allows you to change different options for what you might be doing, whether it's video streaming, voice over IP, games, or file sharing. Right now, I'll put it into the games mode, and you can see that it has its own settings in there. And by changing the settings on these different games, it'll maximize your ability and lower your ping and boost your bandwidth so you'll be able to, uh, I guess you could say, frag the people a little bit better than you normally would. It's just a little gadget that, uh, that the ROG comes with this board and I thought it was something cool to take a look at. Well that has been it and that's been a look at the ROG Connect and the ROG Game First. Thank you for watching. See the rest of the review at www.hitechlegion.com. Stay thirsty my friends and we'll see you the next time. Bye bye.